Welcome to the channel, everybody. This is Hardware Despair. My name is Ryan, and we are playing Valheim Mistlands. Thank you guys for joining me today. Now, we are here in my uh, already slightly explored world. I've done a little bit of work here already. Uh, we'll take a look at the map, and you can kind of see I have not progressed past the bronze part. I do have a like a early series that I recorded. It's got, I don't know, eight or so episodes, uh, but I'll put the playlist link to that in the description. If you guys are interested, you can kind to watch me get up to speed on where I'm at here now. But um, I think that everything's going to be active. As far as I can tell, I'm reading the patch notes. As long as we haven't explored a particular area, it can still have the new content in it. So what I'd like to do is just kind of pick up the series where I loft, left off here uh, with this gentleman. And uh, as you can see, I've even got one portal. Now there is an issue. As you may have noticed, my guy is nude. And that's not for some perverted joke or anything like that. It's because I, I made a little mistake. I did a live stream and I actually got... Uh, spawned the boss here the boss number two the eldar the big tree guy and i died in addition to the boss there was a troll which happened to be in the area and he joined the fight so yeah it wasn't something i was able to pull off and i died sadly but as you can see i've returned a couple times trying to retrieve my stuff so that's the only issue i'm seeing here with this world is this this little character he's doing okay he's just got no gear <laughs> Uh, as you can see, I did feed him a little bit. We've got some like food reserves here at the place. But what I want to do is I think I'm going to step through the portal and I'll show you where that takes us real quick. This is, this is closer to the boss. It's not right on top of him or anything like that. So we're not going to get killed outright, but, uh, I've got a little bit of traveling to do. So here we are. This was originally built as a portal to the swamp. So as you can see, here's the base. This is where we're at and here's the swamp. So if we go outside, I'll show you. I wonder what time it is. I think it's midday. Yeah, so we're right here on the edge of the Black Forest, and the, the swamp is just over there. That was that was my intention originally, was to use this little portal as progression, you know. But um, what we need to do now is, in order to retrieve my stuff, I have to run from here, where we're at, down to here. So it's not going to be that bad. The hard part is, oh crap, the forest is moving. You know what that means? We're getting attacked. I'm going to have to just leave because I have nothing. Ooh, that's like the worst case scenario right there. I hope they don't destroy the portal. Oh. So yeah, basically the goal here is to just retrieve my stuff and, and get away. I'm not going to try and fight the boss immediately. Uh, we're going to need a little bit more preparation for that, but I just want to get my stuff. I'm desperate to get my gear. And uh, I learned the hard way that uh, bosses do not despawn ever <laughs> at first i wasn't sure when i when this initially happened but i looked it up and in valheim bosses don't despawn they will just uh they will stay permanently so in addition to that i'm pretty sure the troll is still in the area but when i get a little closer i will see you guys and we will attempt to make this uh gra snag and grab and go here we'll see okay guys well it's inside here on my mini map um now I want, I don't have anybody chasing me, which is actually kind of crazy. I uh, like, I've been chased here the whole way, but uh, we're going to try and do a little sneaking now. So uh, this is something I haven't really tried M both times. I've kind of just ran straight in there and tried to grab my stuff, but the boss will usually kill me. Um, oh, look at this. We got enemies over here e in my condition. I probably can't even take on these guys. Okay. Now we can see the boss's health bar has, has popped up. So he's, he's. I don't know if he's got us in his sights. I don't even see him just yet, but my stuff is basically straight ahead here. There he is. You see him? He just materialized in the distance. I don't think he's... Is he on me? Crap, don't tell me you're aggroed already, bro. I'm, I'm stealthed here. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I think we're still good. I think it's getting late, too. Maybe it's just the atmosphere for the boss, but it looks like it's getting dark. Uh, I wish he'd move away. He's kind of like guarding the area I need to go to. Uh, maybe we can sneak in there. We're going to... Okay, he's moving. Okay, he stopped. I got to watch my stamina. I don't want to accidentally pop up here. And uh, look at this deer. I could like smack it on the butt. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Here we go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I had no stamina. Oh, not the right one. What? 
Did I get it? I did. Okay, okay. Let's uh, let's circle around. Now we do have to watch out for a troll here. Let's try and open some of this. Oh my gosh, you don't know how nice it is having my gear back. But I gotta watch my back. Oh, yep, yep, crap. Got the boss on us. In addition, we've got some some bad boys. Woohoo! Oh man, you guys don't know how pumped I am to have this gear back though. I died at least three or four times trying to get back here. Absolutely humiliating too, because it was on the live stream. <laughs> Uh, I think we've just uh, outsmarted the boss there. Now, as you notice, there were two two little satchels of my gear there. One of them just had like some cloth crap that I had from the very start. I think I tried to use that initially to go back there and pick it up. All right, let me look at my my little friends here. Come here, gentlemen. <laughs> I do like the knife. I'm a, I'm a big knife person, believe it or not. Boom, boom, boom. Although the shield is great too. I made this nice bone shield here, but it really slows you down. You, you absolutely cannot travel with it. Uh, I wanna sort out some stuff real quick here, guys, while I've still got a moment. Okay, that's the bronze one, so that should be, yeah. That's what I'm trying to use as my primary is the mace here. Here's some of the seeds that we uh, used to summon the boss. Speaking of the boss, I'm still I'm still inside of him. Is that him? No, there's the troll that killed us initially. Tell you what, we're gonna take that sucker on. It's a uh, leather tunic. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure I've got everything I need here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, man. I got a ton of stuff. I hope I didn't leave anything important behind, but I think we're good. I've got everything I need. You know what I don't see is my food. I've got the cooked deer, but that's that was from one of the other times when I ran up here and died initially. Now we do have a nice bow, so we're gonna we're gonna pull this guy. Yeah, coming right in the chest. Oh, look at that! He's almost half health already. I'm gonna get him right in the head. Okay. Yeah, this was the guy who I think ruined our boss experience. The little jerk. Come on, buddy. So we're down in this guy just for revenge. Um, maybe we'll, I, I mean, I will try the boss again, absolutely. I hadn't necessarily even planned on it just because I didn't think I'd be this uh, this lucky. I'm actually really pumped. I hope that everybody's okay with kind of starting off the series at a, at a bronze level instead of, you know, from day one necessarily. Just because I think most people have played Valheim enough that you don't necessarily need tutorials for that. But if you are interested, like I said, check out the description for my early play, play link list. Get in there. One more, one more. Full draw. Oh, that didn't get him. Didn't do it. Okay, it did. Okay, cool, cool. Very nice. Got revenge. Got revenge. Okay, there's our loot. Grab my mace here. Hey, come here, you. Look at this. Little elite guy. Little one-star gray dwarf. You. Oh, they're so hard to fight on a slant like that. Okay, I've got plenty of wood here, so look at this. All right, let's uh, get that. So where are we exactly? We're about halfway. Well, we're less. We... <clears throat> Honestly, I need to get up here and defend my camp. I do not want them to destroy that portal, so I think that's what we'll do. I'll head up north. Guys, I swear I just saw some fish jumping in and out of the water, like breaching and stuff. At first, I thought it was like um, just them spawning in. There they are. No, look, there's fish out there jumping around. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. That's got to be like a new addition because I know fishing was one of the big additions. Uh, it also including magic as well, which is going to be super exciting. But uh, yeah, that's so sweet. First, I was like, what is that? A dolphin? I think it's just fish. Okay, well, now I'm approaching the, uh, the base here. I sincerely hope they didn't destroy my little hut. It is not well defended. I'll tell you that. Okay, let's do this. You're the first victim, Mr. Grayling. See, this is what I don't like about that big shield. I can't really, if I'm just staying stationary or going through a small dungeon corridor, then it's very helpful. But if I'm on the move like this, actively like hitting and running, this is not going to be great. We're not going to have a shield, basically. We feel cold. Yeah, it's getting late out of here. Come here, you. I'm going to take out this brute and then everything else will be trivial. Looks like our honey is about to run out. God, he's such a coward. Get over here, bro. Look at him. Okay, fine. 
Let's take out your little brethren. Mm, just got poison. Oh. You know what? I think I'm going to use my Ekthir power. Should help me a little bit during this. I had held off using it to return to the boss because I was afraid we might die immediately and be like wasted or something. Not sure if it persists through death, actually. I'm not sure about that, but at least now we have it. <clears throat> Should help us a little bit. Oh, blocked by the tree, mister. Sorry, buddy. Oh, now the brute wants to fight. I mean, it just mashed me. Dude, get out of here. Come on. Come on. There he is. He's down. Our life is super low and my uh, stamina is really bad and I'm like cornered. All right, go, go, go. Move, move, move. Their little rocks don't matter. All right, come here, you. I haven't even gotten a look at my structure. Oh, Christ. I haven't even gotten a look at the structure yet. Let's Let's take a little trip. <laughs> uh, bring our friends along with us just to make sure... Oh, I'm going the wrong damn way, aren't I? Yeah, uh, make sure that our structure's still intact. Maybe let my health regen a little bit. The bad thing is... Okay, I do have some food. Nice. Damn, look at this big old rock here. All right, let's get this stamina up, boys. Man, oh man, my health. It's concerning. It is concerning. Okay, the structure is still there. Looks relatively okay. Oh. Damn. I can't run with that thing. Nope, nope. Want my sword now. Oh, you stupid brute. Okay, gotta go, gotta go. Can't take another one of those. Uh, so exciting defending our little little hut out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> the only thing that matters is that portal I do not want to have to run back and forth to get here again alright come here you damn just took off half my remaining health Whew, we're actually getting close to the swamp out there aren't we we don't want to attract any attention I tell you what those like uh, what are they the Druger <clears throat> who dwell in the swamp they will come from like a mile away if they sense my presence. <laughs> it's annoying. All right, here's our little hut. Uh, looks good. Fire's still burning in the hearth. God, my health is just ridiculous. Can I go inside? And They'll probably break in, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, man. I got to deal with this situation, guys. Okay, I think we just got this one little bad boy left. Ooh, well, that... Somebody's still throwing stuff at me. The event is technically over, as far as I can tell. Look, there's a Grey Dwarf Summoner right over there. Uh, we won't mess with that just yet. Uh, I've still got full bags and stuff, so... Kind of want to get back home and take a little nap here. It's the middle of the night right now, so... Let's get out of these woods. Uh, get to the cozy fire back home. In the nice, safe meadow. As long as this structure and the portal's intact, I'm pretty happy, though. I think we had a successful uh, defense there. Uh, here we go. This is, this is how it was. It wasn't destroyed. I'm just a crappy builder. <laughs> uh, so let's go back to our main base real quick. Oh, guys, like I said, you don't know how happy I am to get all my stuff back. It means I don't have to start all over again, brand new, which would have been such a pain. Anyway, I'm going to take a little sleep. I'm going to dump off all this inventory and we're going to think about the boss. We're going to think about a little bit of revenge against that bad boy. Okay, so it is the next day. I've emptied off most of the inventory, and I want to take a look at this chest here. So what I've got planned for this chest is, this is kind of like my resurrection chest. If we die, um, then this will come right back here, and we'll just grab our stuff, and we'll, we'll have at least a moderate amount of gear to hold us over. And in fact, I could probably throw like a shield in here. Da, da, da. You know what I'm thinking about? I might go, where is my shield chest? Got a chest. Here it is. So here's the original shield, the wood shield. I think I might look into crafting up something a little bit more mobile than the uh, bone tower shield. That might help us too. But anyway, I'll throw this in that chest over here because that's going to be helpful. Yeah, but I'm definitely getting uh, geared up here for. We're going to take on the old. What's he called? The warden? 
The Elder. The Elder. We're going to take on the Eldar again for sure this episode. 100%. I got to get revenge on this guy. <clears throat> now, one thing I need to do is get some food going. Obviously, I don't have any good food. We've got our cooking pot, so I'm going to craft up some goodies. Uh, I'm going to work on a new shield that will help me keep mobility. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and repair, too, while we're here so I don't forget now. But there's... Uh, there's a lot of bad beef between me and that boss right now, guys. So let me get all prepared, and next time you see me, we'll be standing at the altar. Well, a little ways back from the altar, but you know what I mean. Well, we can't do the bronze buckler because that costs 10 bars, which I just currently don't have at the moment. But uh, we're going to work more on that later. Uh, so we just upgraded the wood shield as far as it'll go. No big deal. No big deal. I think another thing I'm going to do is drop off some of these tools here. Yeah, we'll leave our torch, our hoe our pickaxe and our axe. I'll bring the hammer just in case. I do have an extra one stashed in that chest. So if I die again, then no worries. See, the, one of the problems I had last time is I was overconfident. I didn't think I would die, so I didn't prepare for it. Well, that was a big mistake. <laughs> now we're prepared. I just got to get some food. Okay, well, his uh, health bar just popped up. We're approaching, approaching, approaching. I'm going to crouch. We don't have anything following us. It's raining. That's kind of sucks, but okay, we can get past that. Uh, I don't have any meat or anything, which is, uh, again, kind of sucky, but I think we can probably manage this battle. I just got really unlucky when I tried him last time. There he is. It might be a little bit more cleared out, too, because we've got uh, a lot of these trees knocked down. That was another issue, too. It's right on the coast. Uh, his little portal summoning thing. So it's kind of frustrating, but it uh, looks like we got a lot of trees knocked down. So uh, let's, let's take him on. I'm ready to fight this fight. I'm ready to kill this guy. I wish we were behind him, but see, there's a summoning thing over there. He's got me. Should have waited for my stamina. Crap. That's okay. I did kind of want to like surveil the area for any trolls, but I think we might have uh, already killed the one that really was uh, bad news, so I think we're okay. I'll try and stay over here on this side, closer to the ravine here, or the river, whatever, but uh, might not work. He might have to come over here, so I'm gonna have to move around. Damn, he's hitting me. If I use his own barriers, maybe that'll help. Yeah, that, that blocks it, sweet. Damn, am I not hitting him? Okay. I do have some uh, bronze-tipped arrowheads. I just kind of thought maybe the fire would be good against him since he's wood and it's going to be a little bit of uh, damage over time. It's hitting him. It's doing stuff. All right, let's back away. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This has got to be a big one here. Come on. We're protected. We're protected by your own structure. Ooh, barely missed me there, buddy. Here he comes. He's pissed. He can't. Oh, man. See, I'm missing more than I'm hitting, I think, which is really bad. I'm just a little bit anxious here. Oh, damn. See? Did I hit him? I did. Yeah, he's on fire. I got him. A couple of times here. It's better to... Ooh, man. Missed him that time. It's better to hit and not get a full draw than it is to get a full draw and miss him. Keep that in mind, obviously, but sometimes it needs to be said just to remind myself. Oh, nice shot right in the chest. Oh, Christ. Let's move. Shifting position. Stamina is holding up real nicely. I'm loving it. Oh, Christ. I just got nailed. He's close. He's real close. Let's shift again. I've got 42 seconds on my Ekthir power. I might actually go ahead and pop that. Just, I mean, like, why not, you know? Uh, I'm going to get him. <gasps> I think I got him. I did. We're like Robin Hood over here and stuff. These trees aren't that great of protection. I like his little stone. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Move, dude. Move, move, move. Come on. Give me that stamina. I'm flipping trapped. It's kind of what happened to me last time. I ran out of stamina. That's why I want to pop that Ekthir. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. Hold on. Hold on. No, not ready. Three seconds. Damn it. <gasps> I just assumed it was ready. Oh, no. Ready. 
Nice. Got a little company over here. Whoa! Man, this guy. The trees are with him. The trees are on his side. Let's lure this stupid gray dwarf over here. Get him. Come here, you. Yeah, I kind of want to draw him farther away from his little platform. Then I'm going to swing back around and head over towards him. Right, right over his shoulder, didn't I? Because uh, I like that platform. We can get some solid... Uh, cover over there. Come here, you. Want to meet behind the rock, buddy? Damn you. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. He is a sniper with those freaking roots, isn't he? Missed me. Yeah, we're going to swing around. We're going to flank, flank, flank. Keeps me away from the black forest, too, so I'm not, like, triggering trolls or dwarves or whatever nonsense. Oh, I think I missed him. Jesus. Oh my god, that was intense right there. We are coming back here for wood after this. I'm telling you what. Did I get him? Nah, I missed him. Alright, we got it. We got it. Let's move a little closer. Does he not see me? What is he doing? I think he's like... Oh, I was going to say, I think he's glitched. He's just... a Whoa! He's just like de aggroed for something, or for some reason, I'm not sure, but we're gonna take mucho advantage of that. Very nice. Eldar, still not at halfway. Don't you sweat it, guys. Don't sweat it. We're gonna get him. Uh -oh. Stupid great dwarves, always playing dumb games with me. Look at him, we're just standing toe to toe. Oh, Jesus, that went right over his head. We're just standing toe to toe, guys, and he's not doing anything. Oh my god, I'm switching over real quick. I don't know. We'll try the bronze. Ooh, that was like a terrible shot. Oh, it's taking some serious damage off him. Look at this, guys. Is he glitched? I don't even care. Ignorance is bliss right now. Oh, stamina. I'll just stand here, too. Look at this, guys. Something's going on. There's uh, some sort of buggy bug. But you know what? You don't always get the free shots here like this, so I'm just going to take advantage. You know, for some reason, I don't care for the bronze-tipped arrowheads as well. They seem to shoot differently, which is interesting, but I don't know if they're heavier. I, I like the fire, and it seems to be doing a pretty comparable amount of damage to them as compared to the uh, bronze. Uh, and yeah, he is like totally glitched out. I haven't moved. I'm a little nervous. Like if I move, I might break him out of his funk here. But uh, he's in some sort of malaise. <laughs> oh, man, he's in a fugue state. He's just amazed by my intense powers. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm sorry for the cheese here. But, uh, you know, I'm taking advantage of it. It's boss number two. It's not the end of the world. I think we've got plenty more challenges to come. And like I said, this guy murdered me a couple of times. So this is revenge here, buddy. It's weird. I hope, uh, what is it? Coffee stain, coffee stain developers, or maybe that's the publisher. Not sure, but, uh, I hope they're watching we got a little buggy bug. There we go, guys. We just defeated the Eldar. See, here's a couple more of my corpses. Let's grab whatever's here. I might have some like food or something here. Yeah. There, oh, there's a bunch of food in that one. All right. Let's see what the Eldar dropped. Woo we are coming back here for some wood, man. I got to remember this place. Is this it? Yes! Eldar, we got the swamp key. Nice. So we can start going into the uh, swamp officially. We are good to go. I'm going to pick up some of this wood here. This is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've just got to run back up to the portal. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. We have officially defeated boss number two. And if you guys don't tell anybody, I won't. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. But uh, hey, we did what we had to do, right? Uh, isn't power nice? Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, some people will say, oh, it matters how you get the power more than the power itself. But I don't hold with that. No, 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 no. We don't worry about morality around here. Uh, but in all seriousness, I actually was able to run up on a deer and punch it to death while I was coming over here. So if anybody else has experienced any like weird AI or, uh, yeah, combat bugs, let me know down in the comments. Appreciate it. But, uh, we're doing okay. We've got two bosses defeated. Now I assume, is this the new one? What does it say? Born in armor, mother of many queen without crown ruler beneath. 
see i don't know i can't recall it's been a little while for me since i like looked at these bosses i know that this is the boss for the swamp this is the boss for the mountains the dragon um and i think this is where it ended but uh yeah this might be the new one i hope so because that that'll tell me for sure that the the world i'm in is a, a viable world so what's the power here activate power i've forgotten what oh faster wood cutting there it is says it right there um i think for now we're going to stick with the ekthir power just because it's actually kind of helpful in fights and stuff so we'll use that now but uh just one more quick look at the world you can see it's not very well explored but that's actually perfect so we don't have to worry about you know not running into mistlands content we should be able to um i'll probably start doing some serious exploring um up in this general area maybe trying to find some new content and of course we're going to work on the swamp uh first i think i want to get a little bit more bronze though i definitely want a bronze buckler and stuff so we'll work on that before we head to the swamp but the swamp will probably be for next episode so i think i'm going to head home i'll show you guys my little homestead that i've got once we arrive and uh also i really need to think about getting some palisade walls built and protecting my structures from any more of those invasion events Okay, well, here comes our little house up ahead. And if for anybody who has not seen this, like I've mentioned a couple times, we do have a previous playthrough. Uh, check the description for that link. But uh, here it is. I've got tons of rock over here. We've got a workbench out here because I was just getting ready to start. Oh, look, it's more jumping fish. Uh, I was getting ready to start on the Palisades over here when I realized, oh, wait, I have to beat the boss before I can have access to that. And now, as you can see, we do have the steak wall and the uh, sharp stakes here available. We can also do fences. We got a bunch of stuff opened up since we defeated the old boss. So I'm pretty pumped about that. Yeah, we're going to, I think the big priority is going to be uh, safeguarding my little home over here. Let's check out our beehives. We'll collect a little bit of the honey before we log out. That's, oh, I've got my hammer out, don't I? There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah, I haven't collected this in a while. We're going to have a ton of this stuff. Beautiful. All right, and let's take a look here. This is mainly charcoal. Yeah, charcoal and wood. Let's get our charcoal oven going. <laughs> charcoal kiln. Got to keep that thing going constantly. Yeah, because we're going to be needing a lot of charcoal. I'm going to work on building a couple more of these guys. Obviously, we'll need more. Um, I don't believe I have any ore left. I think we've processed everything. I've been putting my ore in here mainly and the bars left over. So, yeah, we're pretty well caught up now. You guys see what I've got going on. You know, it's uh, not too far advanced. I hope everybody's comfortable with this as the beginning of our playthrough here for Mistlands. I sure am ready to get this content explored. I can't wait to. Uh, I, I What I've read, you need to eat certain foods to have access to magic. So that's definitely going to be something we go for, too, is a nice little magic playthrough. I'm going to discard the sword and the shield eventually, and we're going for magic anyway guys i really appreciate you stopping by and spending time with me here at the valheim world uh check the link for discord and twitter if you're interested and if you enjoy the content hit like and subscribe and guys i will see you on the next episode